Kurt with Winner's Performance, and we're going to talk about checking the oil level and filling the oil in a 10-inch quick change, uh, like this late model rear that we have here. Uh, keeping track of your oil level is obviously important. Uh, too much oil creates excessive heat and wear in the rear, and you certainly don't want to have too little oil. So when you're checking the level, first you want to make sure that the rear end is level. Um, if you've got any pinion angle worked into your setup, you want to jack the car up to level out the rear end. Uh, then you're going to remove the oil level plug, and you'll also remove the oil fill plug. On these rears, both plugs are on the right side of the rear. The oil level plug is just below the axle, and the uh, oil fill plug is lined up with the axle. Fill the oil here till it comes up to your oil level hole right here. If this is a new rear, you want to give it a couple minutes because there's a shielded lower bearing between the quick change gear cavity and the main cavity, and it takes a minute for the oil to make its way to the change gear cavity. Uh, once it does, you just add a little more oil until it tops it off, reinstall those plugs, and you're good to go. If you're out at the track and your oil is already warmed up, no need to wait. You can just fill it, reinstall the plugs, and go. Uh, we recommend a high-quality semi-synthetic gear oil with Molly, like our 8090 gear oil, or a full synthetic like Mobile One 7590. All the information that we've gone over is also on the tag that comes with your rear, and it's also uh, in our catalogs, which you can view by going to our website and downloading them, or you can give us a call and we'll mail out a copy to you.